I am about, about to getting into blessing. As I mentioned before, there is no middle ground in Christianity. Black and white. If you want to stay in the darkness, it is your choice. But if you want to stay out of the darkness and come in into the light, it's also your choice. God doesn't force us to do that. But don't forget, we have the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit already came. Soon as you received Jesus as a Savior, that was His promise. I am going to give the Holy Spirit as a gift to let us know who we are. First of all, sin. First thing, He convicts our heart is that we are sinful. We're sinners. As Jeremiah already talked, right? Long time ago. Our hearts are what? Deceitful. More than anything else in this world. Above all things. So sin starts from within us. That's why God sent the Holy Spirit to fight against us. So we need to struggle with the sins. What is going on in my heart? I want to try to be closer to God, but I can't. Why? What is keeping me from the Lord? Coming closer. See, we need to constantly ask about it. Still I follow my flesh desires or I follow divine natures. But he concludes this chapter without love. What did he say in verse, uh, chapter 13? Okay. Verse 1 of chapter 13. If I could speak all the languages of earth and of angels, but I don't love others, I would only be a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. Okay? It's not an empty, like, pot, kettle. If there is no water and nothing inside, when you hit them, what does sound like? <laughs> exactly, right? <laughs> so if I had a gift of prophecy and I didn't love others, but didn't love others, verse 2, I would be nothing. Verse 3, if I gave everything I have to the poor and even sacrificed my body, but if I didn't love others, I would have gained nothing. So, love, because of love, He's asking people to show your action. Without action, you cannot prove other people that you love God. You are actually worshiping God and you fear God. So, first command is neighbor. Love your neighbors as yourself. Second command. That is an action part. So we need to practice within the church. That's why God planted the church here and brought you guys, including myself, to love one another. But is it, is it easy or not easy? Don't smile. <laughs> not easy, right? That's why Paul says, be on guard. Why? We have to expect there is uh, invisible enemies in between us. That's why I told you, when you go out to the na nature and you just praise God. You praise God because of His creation, so beautiful. But creation is all the same as creatures. But while we look at people, we don't praise. 
<laughs> we have to bring him to the beach and then praise together. <laughs> So do everything with love. That's his theme. Love, but we should remember that there is always our enemy. That's why we need to put an armor of God first of all and pray and fight against him first. That's why Ephesians chapter 6, we go to Ephesians lastly, Chapter 6 Verse 10 and 11 Okay, a final word Be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power Put on all of God's armor So that you will be able to stand firm Against all strategies of the devil Okay And Verse 12 we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. See, there, there is a higher, hierarchical here, he's talking about evil rulers and authorities, and then mighty power, evil spirit in the heavenly places. That's why he said, verse 11, put on all of God's armor first. And then we need to ask the Holy Spirit to fight against on behalf of us. Yeah, we cannot fight. Because he said, actual fight is not the blood and the flesh, but evil spirits. So we need to expect that. When we do, when we show something for God's glory, then always there is uh, obstacles or interference. That's what the enemies are doing. Their job is to destroy, to lie, and to steal. So we need to understand that what is coming ahead. In the way we can put an armor of God and we pray. We can prepare ourselves. Then sometimes Holy Spirit let, will let you know this thing will happen to your life in the future. That's what we intercede. That's what we call intercessory prayers. We get together and we intercede for somebody and some situations ahead. So, Paul says, do everything with love. Back to 1 Corinthians. And be on guard. Even offerings. So when you follow his instructions, there is no room for Satan to come in. But, we just don't think about anything and, oh, tomorrow is Sunday, I need to go to church. It's just a good habit, right? Oh, worship time was 12, okay. So I got up around 11, that will, that will do it. Oh. Just come and hey, I need to give something. If you show that kind of attitude, God won't be pleasing to you. So love, that's His word. We don't have love. That's a physical love. How long can you love your neighbors? Five minutes? Why don't you today just measure the time? It can last longer. Give you price, curry. <laughs> okay? So whenever the opportunity comes, I'm going to close with the Galatians chapter 6 again. Chapter 6, verse 10. Therefore, whenever we have the opportunity, 